Micah, like congrats on an awesome win, man. Tell me a little bit about that game. It was a hard fought game. I mean, yard for yard. I, mean, we, I feel like we had the better defense. I mean, we stalled out a couple of times on offense, but I mean, all in all, we came out and it was swinging back and forth. I mean, but I feel like overall, we put our hearts out on the line and we took it. You did a great job, man. I would have loved to see you win 40 to nothing, but 14 to 13, that's an awesome game. You're a state champ, man. Nobody can ever take that away from you. Great job. Thank you. Go celebrate with your teammates, buddy. I will. Player of the game, 22 carries, bunch of yards. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. There's probably no better feeling in the world. I don't know. Nothing, not much can top this right here. So walk me through. A, let's go all the way back to last year. You're a junior in high school. Halfway through the football season, you're sitting at home playing Fortnite, watching the arrows on Arrow TV. And then you decide, you know what, like I'm going to come in and win a state title the next year? Yeah, junior year, I didn't go to a single football game all year. And then I go to that homecoming game at home. And I just went out for football again right after that. I mean, just watching these guys go out in here and play, I just think I had to play with them. Well, I'm glad that you came back and decided, I'm glad that you decided to play football. Talk about how, how your conditioning is to carry the ball 22 times. You run violent, you know, right? Like you don't you don't shy away from contact. You're a violent runner. How good a shape are you in? Uh, I wouldn't say I'm in great shape, but good enough. I mean, uh, I just, I mean, I run as hard as I can no matter what. Those guys are blocking for me every single time in front of me. They work as hard as they can. I'm going to work for them. Talk about that offensive line. Four seniors, a stud sophomore. Arguably the two best offensive linemen in state. Arguably the best offensive line in the state. How good are they? They're awesome. I mean, look, we can throw the ball all we want. Trey's got all the time in the world, and on that power, I mean, falling behind Jane Lambert, Micah Hawk. There's that, nothing can top that. I okay. mean, they're pulling right around. It's just awesome. Agreed. Your your brother played football, and he, and he played pretty well, right? And dad played football too, yeah. right? He played pretty well. Either one of them get a state title. Nope. You can go home and rub it in? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, brother. Thank you. Good job, yes. Coach, walk me through it. Fourth fourth and one. Did you, did you have the Statue of Liberty play dialed up all night? Yeah, Coach Huth had that thing. He's been looking forward to run that thing all week long. Uh, we practiced it a few times every day and kind of knew that if we had the situation available to us, we were going to run that. Is that something that you practice throughout the week? We haven't seen that all all season. Right. We practice it. Like I said, we've ran that play a couple times during the week every day. And um, we did that with a few other things. But our guys just executed in the clutch time and did a good job. Do you feel like that you dominated that first half? And how impressive was your offer? How impressive was your defense throughout the whole game? Um, we did play really well in the first half, but we came out a little flat in the second half, gave up a touchdown, gave up a bunch of first downs, struggled a little bit with what Pierre was able to do. And then after that, our guys settled back in, and they came out and played really hard and got a win. Marcus Blossom, 22 carries, a bunch of yards. How gutty of a performance is that? That was awesome that Marcus had all the yards. And, but it's a tribute to our offensive line, and it's a tribute to our offensive coordinator. It's a tribute to all of our coaches. It's a tribute to Coach Jung in the weight room. Uh, just everybody who's involved with our program did good things to get us where we were today. How about the crowd, the community that showed up for you tonight? I mean, you couldn't see all the way up to the rafters. Did you Did you hear them? Did you feel them? Did the players feed off that energy? Oh, absolutely. The crowd was fantastic. Uh, being in Watertown and having the support that we have from our community is phenomenal. I guarantee there is no other place like Watertown. Nobody has the support we have. Coach, you've been at this a long time. How special of a win is this? It's, it's what we set our goal for every year, and we've fallen out short for a long, long time. And this time we got it all together, and we made some plays, and we won the whole thing, and it's awesome. There's, there's hist I mean, every state championship is, is important. Every state championship is historic. This one snaps a seven-game streak. All year I've been saying, to be the man, you have to beat the man. Watertown Arrows, they're the man. Yep, yep, we beat Pierre, and that, that, but that's not the most important thing that happened tonight. It was winning an ESD title. It was getting the home game in the playoffs. It was winning in the playoffs. It was winning in the Dome, and that's, like I said, a tribute to all of our coaches and all of the people who are involved with our program. Coach, congratulations on the win. Go be with your family.